YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Concise the Barber, and we are back with another tutorial. And I'm just going to jump straight in. I'm starting off with my JRL. I have these modified with the fast feed blade. Uh, it's the black, it's the black blade and the black cutting blade. So I took it all down with a number two. And now I'm going to start my bolt line with, with the saber trimmers from Stylecraft. Um, just showing you guys, even with this texture of hair, these things cut like butter like they have no problems no issues at all and i usually don't even set in my bolt lines like this but just for the video and to show you guys how well they cut i wanted to show you guys how strong they are as you see they get real close it's almost basically looking like it's bald but um i will come right after you know i'll come behind this with the shaver but they do get close sometimes your clients don't even need uh, the shaver sometimes people's skin is uh, can't take the shaver or you know they have a lot of irritation um, when it comes to like getting ball fades but this is the option to have like these trimmers right here man they just they crush it through the bulk Now I'm using the research by Andis. Um, and to be honest, I do like, I mean, they remind me of the bronze savers of how they have the foils and then the cutting, the cutting long hair piece in the middle. So I do like that type of shaver uh, better. Uh, however, uh, Stylecraft did come out with the Rebels and they do perform uh, great as well. I just like the option with the long hair. So hopefully uh, we'll see more companies getting into that type of shaver. Now I'm following, now I'm coming in with my JRLs, blade open. I'm starting with the top of the beard near the ear and um, I just wanted to fade that area out first, you know, just to get it out of the way. Whatever I can do with the blade open is, is what I'm going to do so I don't have to keep repeating myself or repeating steps. As much as you can, as much as possible, you want to try to use that one guard or that one setting one time and that's it but if you got to keep going back to that same setting you got to find an easier way uh in your method to to reduce some time so i start out blade open and then i do click two click levers and then i close it all the way so that's my method when it comes to the bald from straight from bald i do a blade open and then i blend it down just to get that bottom line out the way I know a lot of times some people leave it, but I like getting it out of the way first. So hopefully that helps somebody with their methods. And now I have the one and a half guard, a double magnet guard, and I'm just following right under the two that I did. In every in every guard that I use, it will be two clicks above, so it'll be completely open, midway, then fully closed. Now I have the one guard following right under the one and a half. And I like fading down. It's like keeping keeping me in a place where I know where I want to keep the fade. And I'm not gonna push it up, but if anything, I'm just gonna blend down from that transition, that dark transition to light as my client likes it. I have the zero guard on the OG double magnet zero guard. This guard is hard to find, as you guys see. I have one tooth missing, but it does not affect um, how I cut. It, you know, so I'm kind of glad about that. It, it kind of chipped in the right right area. So I'm just following right under the one, you know, the one guard, and I'm going to blend this bad boy out. And with his texture of hair, 
as you guys do see the blade open line is still strong and even though that i'll probably close this zero guard you'll probably still see that line so i will be going back with the blade open I'm gonna blend in the beard just a little bit more. Um, and I will I will attack that later on in the video, but I just uh I just left it as is right now. Now I'm and now I'm gonna start lining it up. So these things don't just ball you know ball out well, they do give out crispy lineups as you as y'all see. And uh just watch the trans watch the transition. Just watch how well they work. Now I'm doing a little bit of shear work. I'm thinning out around the uh, bridle ridge be, uh, because it was just, uh, still showed too much bulkness and how my client wanted his hair to lay. Um, I had to clean that area up. Also, I'm coming behind it with uh, the clipper completely closed. So I'm just making it a nice smooth uh, shape as y'all see. Now I got the number one guard and we're, we're gonna lighten up his beard. But uh, I did find out that he did want it lighter. So I did switch it out to a zero guard. You'll see that later in the video. Um, I just did a zero guard completely open and then faded it in where the ears were it and faded in at the bottom of the fade. And to be honest, I do like this modification on the JRL. Um, I don't know what it is, but it really like gives the fast feed blade the most potential, like, you know, due to the speed in the motor, like we really can see how well that blade can perform. And now I'm doing some razor work, as you guys see, just a little bit, uh, a little bit of razor work. And surprisingly, uh, <laughs> using the saber trimmers there's not much razor work that you really have to use so i just did a little bit around uh, the beard area and that was basically it but look y'all this is the cut please let me know what you guys think i just wanted to show you guys the performance of the jrls and also the performance of the saber trimmers so thank y'all for watching make sure you guys subscribe and and i'll see you in the next video